With the number of new COVID-19 patients nationwide steadily decreasing, Jeju hasn't had a new case since March 4th. Experts say the upcoming two weeks are critical to maintain this trend. Health authorities are asking the public to exercise caution when going out in public. Authorities are also recommending communal facilities such as elderly long-term care hospitals be temporarily closed to prevent mass infection of the elderly. Todd Facker reports. The number of newly confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the nation has been slowly leveling off since a sharp rise in patient numbers at the end of February. Jeju Island has seen no new confirmed cases since March 4th. Jeju members of the religious group called Shincheonji have shown some COVID-19 symptoms, but fortunately they have tested negative for the virus. Health authorities see the next two weeks as critical in keeping infection numbers under control. The nation's 17 governors and mayors have made a joint appeal for citizens to keep a safe distance from others when venturing out in public. They are stressing the importance of delaying any scheduled gatherings and to minimize in-person meetings wherever possible. Alternative methods of communication, either online or by telephone, are encouraged. Meanwhile, provincial health officials are recommending that 58 long-term care facilities for the elderly be closed for the next two weeks. This is to prevent any COVID-19 clusters among members of this high-risk group. The province is asking that long-term care facilities participate in the temporary closure and says it will provide daytime care services for residents of these facilities. Todd Thacker, KCTV.